controlled chaos here. Have I got a good, interesting video for you, City Heroes fans? I have been invited to be a judge on the Thunder Spy server for a costume contest. This costume contest is an interesting one. It's all about making copyrighted characters. And the winner is the one who makes the character look the closest to the original copyright and infringement on it. And that's really, really interesting, really cool. So you guys will be seeing from the perspective of a judge in one of these contests. Okay, so we're now looking and judging here. And let's see, looks like a tank. Let me read the bio. One of the things we have to do. So no bio. Let's see, so there's Laura Croft, dual pistols. I like that. They did revolvers. They should have done the other one. And that throws it off for me just a bit. They should have done the clipped pistols because Laura Croft likes using the clipped pistols. It's what she's known for using. Is there a bio? Did they write up a bio? No bio. It's just the costume. So let's see here. And what else do we have? Man, go to this one right here. I'm in first person view so that you guys can see these the easiest. Let's go info. They work on bio. Okay, let's hear all the. Okay. So this one I actually put in a bio. Let's see about this one. Bio here for them. No bio on that one. So we got that one there. Okay, that looks I like the effects on that one. Not recognizing that. There's a few I'm recognizing. Laura Croft was the closest I'm seeing. Let's see what we have here. Bio. Please have a bio. No bio. Okay. A lot of these people are not doing bios. So. Oh. We have Harry Potter here. Click on the Harry Potter one. See if there is a bio here. No bio on that one. Only one person has done a bio. Oh, so what else do we have? And Harry Potter. Closest to that I'm liking so far is Harry Potter and uh, Laura Croft. Any Mayhem. Let me do a look up on that. I will be back. Okay, I did a look up on that and couldn't find anything on them. So we got them. And of course, Mega, Mega SLR. Let's see. Bio. Cool little bio there. I'm going to do a look up on them. I don't recognize that character, but I will be back once I've done the look up. Okay, so I did a look up for Megas XLR and I'm seeing that they did a good job with the robotics look. But doing a, the head as a car is really hard to do in C Heroes. They did the best that they could do. do. I'm glad about that. Let's check out some of these others. 
file on this one. Let's see. Oh, I like the fact that they put in the first appearance. This I really like. Because it, it gives you a direction to go with. And I like the fact that they did this. Oh, that's really, really cool. So I'm going to look up uh, Death Adder and see what I can find and go from there. I will be back in a moment. Okay, I am back and I did a look up for Death Adder. And with that one, it's, you know, I'd seen it before, but it's a very rare character in the Marvel Universe. I like the fact that they did a full bio. Now, let's take a look at Raven here. And no bio. So right now, I'm, I'm honestly looking at giving it to Death Adder for the pure simple fact that they took the time to write in a full bio. And so that's what matters. And let's check out Black Canary here. And once again, no bio. I do like the fact that they took time to do these skins, right? I mean, Black Canary is very easy to do. Raven's a bit harder to do. Same with Death Adder. Death Adder, you really have to know what you're doing. Same with... Uh, Megas uh, XLR. That's a really hard one to do. And let's check out Angel here from X Men. Once again, no bio. But I like the fact that they didn't just do Angel, but they did Angel of the X Men. Let's you know right away what that's all about. It looks good there. They got the wings in a nice color. And stuff like that looks really, really good. Hellboy. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> I'm, now I'm a bit torn because that, that Hellboy quote is really, really, really good. I like that. That's really nice. And then we have Evil Mascot. Info. Oh boy, a lawsuit. <laughs> okay, I, I need to look up Evil Mascot and see if I can find images of that and go from there. I will be back. Okay, so I'm thinking they're going off of, you know, Mickey Mouse and making him look evil. I'm not really fitting to it. I mean, it's got creativity, but that's not what they're going for they're going for a dead as close as possible representation so let's see here nope not what i wanted come on info nothing there yeah, go ahead here there we go so that one's done there and I'm going to look up Julia Darklaw and see what we have. Okay, so for the images I found of Julia Darklaw because I don't know much about them, this doesn't really match to what I've seen in the images and there weren't that many. So that's how I'm going off of that. Just checking group messages here. And it does look like a black cat, but with the arms and stuff like that. And oh, okay. It's because of, okay. I know why they can't take those arms off. They went spider crab type of thing here. Um, yeah, they went wolf spider. And when they want the crab spider. So this character can't take that off for doing that. I think in all honesty, they should have done another character for this. Because this is being held in Atlas Park, you could have literally made a level one character and done the costume from there. 
that will have been the best way to do it. In all honesty. And of course we got Johnny Bravo. Which is good here. And let me see here. Okay. Another one that took and wrote it all up. And I don't need to look up Johnny Bravo. I know what he looks like. And this looks like a very cartoonized version of Johnny Bravo. I like the fact that they used the head manipulation and scaled the head to give it that lengthy look that Johnny Bravo has. And they gave him a very muscular look and stuff like that. That's really, really good. And then we have Moo here. Let's see. Impo. Super soldier. Okay. Good, good, good. So let me get back to you guys. I want to do a look up on Moo. Okay, I'm back. I did the look up and a bunch of different choices. So that one's a bit hard. Looks. So let me get back here. Aura Master. Info. Okay. Oh, Shadow Gun. Ah, Mortal Kombat reference. And it looks good. It looks really good. I like that. I like the ones that aren't doing superhero ones. That's the difficult ones there. It's the ones that don't do superheroes is really, really good. Did he do a bio though? No bio. No bio whatsoever. And you know, some of these It's really hard to look up. I'm going to look up uh, Oro Master because I don't recognize that. I don't know that one. I'll be back. Okay, I found a couple images of him and he gets it looking very close to that. And that's nice. And we, who, who do we have? I, I want to say this looks like Psylocke. That's what I'm wanting to say. No bio. Psyblades, yeah, they gotta go with Psylocke on that one. Grimlock, that's, you know, I, I grew up in the age of um, Transformers, the original Transformers cartoon. And I just, I need to, I, I remember Grimlock being what he was. And, and this one looks really good. And done well. I just want to make sure that the colors are correct. So I'm going to do some look up on that. Okay, I'm back. And what I really like is I just saw his back. And his back. He put a piece on the back that I really, really liked. And I like the fact that he put the, the backpack piece on that has the face. Because then that's like the transforming part. It went onto the back. The head of... The T-Rex went on the back and that's really, really smart. And the way he color coded this is good too, especially with the arms because they're mostly that gray color with a little bit of gold. The chest is gold. The, the, the waist is red and the legs are a darker color and then it goes back to the gray. So that's really, really well done. Please tell me you did a bio. You didn't do a bio. So that makes it a bit tough there. Green Goblin. Very easy to do since this is a comic book game. Green Goblin is an easy character to do. They took the simple way out. They didn't do things like some of these others did like the uh, Shao uh, Khan or Grimlock. You know, these other ones like the, the Johnny Bravo one is a good one. You know, because he had to manipulate body parts a lot to pull that one off. So did they do a one for Green Goblin? No bio for Green Goblin. Okay. Next, we have Superman. Can tell that this is Superman. They did their best to get the Superman symbol in there. 
with what they had availability to. I give them credit to that. That's really, really nice. And then Superman's just an easy one to do though. Also info, he did do a bio for that. I give him credit for that. That's good. So let's see. R. Kelly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so. Oh, Conehead right down here. Conehead's an easy one to do. No bio on Conehead. R. Kelly. Info. No bio on R. Kelly. So, done those. What's this? Mace, you do fine. Tempo. No. Nothing on there. Okay, so he's the mastermind. These are all of his pets. Okay, let's see who else we have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see one. The one that I like. See, X23. And the only thing is, is you won't be able to get that no bio on that either. But for me, very recognizable. I am an X23 fan. So that's really, really good. So we all those. And then we have. This character here, info one. I'm gonna do Inquay. I need to do some research on them. Be right back. Okay, couldn't find anything on them. No bio. So that one, let's him here. Any bio on him. Yes, he did a, a bio. Alright, okay. So I'm going to do a look up on this character. And see what we can find. Okay, I am back. And to turn the, the great. He did a great job on putting in the name of the character. The only problem I'm having is with the red face. The red face, it should be a, a wider color from what I saw. Yeah, so from every image I'm seeing, the head is white, it is not pink. It should be the same color of his arms and his feet. And so that causes a problem there. Um, other than that, that, that one's really, really good. And it may be white, but he has a power effect on and he should be taking that off so we can see the full costume. They should be flickering that on and off. That's my thought on the whole entire thing. What else do we have here? Okay, we were here. Okay. Like this. D, &D has bro. <laughs> mm, looks like they're doing a mix match of a bunch of stuff. That's not doing copyright infringement of a character to me. That's just mashing a bunch of stuff together. So what we have here. Pepsi man. Yeah, so they're. Statesman. <laughs> okay, if you play City Heroes and you don't know who Statesman is, there's something wrong there. <laughs> something totally, totally, totally wrong there. A little bit off for Statesman. Okay, that, that's all I'm going to say there. Um, just 
doesn't fully feel right. So there's Statesman. And let's see, does he have a bio? Please tell me he put bio. No bio! So many people in here, but no bio! The bio can help the judges out so much. Did he put the bio? God. No bio. Okay. So there we go. That's done. I'm going to go confer with the judges. Once we get to the con uh, confirmation, we're sitting and talking. That's when I will be back. So we're discussing this out all right now. And as I mentioned, this makes it hard because a lot of these people did some really good costumes. So that's. And then. And, uh. Orange Blue Hue uh, made a good comment that R. Kelly really isn't a copyrightable character, which is true in a way. But yeah, R. Kelly just, eh. <laughs> the simpler, the easier to do the character that not so much. The harder to do. Yeah. <laughs> and so... As we're discussing this all out, I like the fact that there's a whole entire barbecue thing going on here. But the fact that we're all talking this out is really, really good. I will catch back with you guys in a few. So Senpai, who's running this whole entire thing right now, is taking a list from each judge. So that he can take a tally down. And this is really, really good. And I will let you guys know what we what happens next. Because they're telling the votes right now. He's telling the votes right now. Getting things set up. As you can see, there are four judges here. So this will be very, very interesting. I don't know if uh, Senpai is going to be part of the judges. But I'll keep you informed. Okay, so what's happening is Senpai is counting up the votes. The person with the most first place votes gets per uh, first. If... There are multiple first place vote. Then what they do is they look at how many second place votes they, if there are any second place, and so on and so forth. They figured it out, and the winner is Superman getting first, and Evil Mascot getting second. Only reason being is because Superman got two first votes and a second place vote, whereas uh, Evil Mascot got. Two first place votes and a third place vote. And then there's Hellboy, which got the second best ranking of second or got a bunch of second votes. So that's how it's all doing. So Superman, which I'm going to go over to right now. Superman right over here won. And then we have Evil Mascot, who I'm sort of in front of right now. Don't want to get too directly in front of them. And then Hellboy, which is right next to them. And that's really, really good. So, oh. The Ghostbusters. If they would have been here. Or is that... Oh, Ghostbusters should have. Should have been in there. That, that's really genius. I wish they would have been in the costume contest. Anyways. I will be back with the whole entire ceremony. So this is what I love about the Say Heroes community. They just announced Superman as the winner. And, or literally Superman, as I said, as, as the winner. And everyone congratulated him. Everyone's being uh, nice about it and friendly. And not saying, hey, I, I should have won, so on and so forth type of thing. And that's really good. So. That's it pretty much. That's how this all worked out is it was just a vote and tally system. Each person had their own opinions and stuff like that. And there was a big communication and talking and looking through on a few things. But do you think Superman should have won this? Who do you think should have won this whole entire contest? Comment down below and let me know. 
Have a great night.